A wonderful, brand spanking new Miner's Haven review has been blessed upon you today. Sponsoring this video is FreeCam to face the two glorious mines. First mine, extremely rare and is massive, dwarfing a normal mine. Next is almost just as rare, mine which is basically another anti-orbital uplink. And wow, do they both suck ass. Speaking of sucking ass. Sup, I'm back. I'm missing a hand, but don't worry about it. Block a burn, who uploads five days in a row, and then doesn't upload the next five days. Sponsored by unable to keep a stable upload schedule. Here's some music. Happy party. Welcome to my review of the King Gold Mine and the Stellarite Mine. These mines are slightly rare. This one had 0.5 rarity, this one had 0.25 rarity. And what do these both have in common besides being rare? They're not very good. So firstly, we'll take a look at the King Gold Mine. And we'll drop an old basic furnace in front of it. That's not in front of it. Problem. First problem with this, it's really hard to make a make the ore accurately be placed in front of a furnace or conveyor without it taking a hot second. Now it's worth one quintillion. Now first you might think, <coughs> compared to the massive diamond mine or massive diamond drill, that's like god tier. But then you realize that you can get this at life two, and you can get this at life. 200 probably but this in order to have a chance to get it you need to be life 2000 and considering the point in the game you would end up getting this mine its actual if like usefulness can be described in one single action oh I could just do that to get my money okay or better yet if you get enough of them this Needless to say, the King Gold Mine has competition that easily trumps it. Now let's take a look at the design. Well, I like its crown. I do like that. However, I think the crown could be a little bit more detailed. Can we have more of like a king, like ultra king like looking crown? Like has like 12,000 jewels, a ruby maybe in the center, and maybe make the crown like three times as big. Then I, th I, I th it'll be, it'll look really convincing. Then, the ore, it could be a little bit similar to this mine's ore. Who's a real king now? However, compared to the regular massive gold mine, the difference in size is very apparent. This one's bigger, I think. So first things first, what's wrong with this mine? Too slow of ore to come out. Make it like a quarter of the time, maybe. And also, the ore value sucks too much. Make it like a sextillion, maybe. Or even a hundred sextillion. It's still going to be worse than Gargantuum, considering all the special gar uh, properties that Gargantuum has. That and its ore fire rate. Maybe not, maybe not like over this, but definitely close to this. Because you can get this fairly early as well. It's not like this is the end-all be-all. You can get this pretty early in the game. Well, early in quotations, like life 5,000, maybe. That's probably, I don't even know if that's an overestimate or an underestimate because I'm life that. I do like the ore of the King Gold Mine though, because it's kind of different from the rest of them. All right, that's, yeah, I meant to place those conveyors. The sole difference being that it's really shiny and like almost neon-y. Oh, that's because it's a thing of ice. It's very orange in comparison to its to its brother. Which one is bigger, actually? Uh, looks like the King Gold Mine Ore is just a bit bigger. However, let's compare it against the massive Diamond Drill, which I believe has the bigger ore. Despicable. How could you even consider yourself a King Gold Mine when you don't even have the biggest ore? The massive diamond drill has by far the biggest ore in the game. Oh, what's that? 
three biggest problems with King Gold Mine. Ore rate is too little, ore value is too little, and it has way trumped comp competition. Like, it's not even close. It does look nice, though. I'll give it that. Here's the King Gold Mine's description, if you would like to take a closer look at it. Yeah, it's pretty much just a meme, but there's the life and rarity as well. And now it's Stellarite Mine's turn. Here's the description for this one as well. Basically, just slightly less atrocious requirements compared to the King Gold Mine. However, this mine, you will learn, is not that much better. Now, as compared to the King Gold Mine, this thing actually has a pretty fast fire rate, and its ore value is almost identical to the King Gold Mine. The main problem with it? It doesn't shoot ores here, it shoots them all the way, like, half across your base. Excellent! That and it's pretty inaccurate when doing so. Now, in my case, the ore value is worth 615 quadrillion, but guess what? You know how much use that does for me? It does about that much use for me. So it's just very, very inaccurate, decent ore value, crappy mine. That is really hard to get. Now, here's the things. It's not an actual feature yet, but apparently a future feature will be that this thing works considerably better with star setups. And I would agree that considering its name, that would be a great addition to this thing's features. So it would actually be like maybe worth competition. However, I still feel like this thing should be hard to use, but maybe not this hard to use. Since you need a large scale effort just to get the thing working. And, I, and by that, I mean just, just literally surround it with a bunch of teleporters and I'm sure you'll get it eventually. And in mass amounts. But that's annoying. And transitioning it into your star setup wouldn't be easy when usually when you have a mine such as this going through a setup, you have a few things before. Such as your Molten Forge and Freon, for example. The design of Stellarite is honestly amazing. I, I really like the design of it. I like the star and I like the balls that come out of it, the back of it. It's pretty good. Honestly, there's only two of its kind, so I think they, they are a special type, so this one should definitely be expanded upon. And that also goes for the King Gold Mine. Also worth noting that both the Stellarite Mine and King Gold Mine uh, provide quite a significant increase to the Book of Knowledge multiplier. Now here's something also worth noting. Block A, maybe these items weren't meant to be absolutely amazing. Same with the Ore Memer, for example. And they were just meant to be nice, like, little collector reborn items that are extremely rare. And it's like, whoa, you got that item? You're cool. They weren't meant to be god-tier, unbelievable items. And to that I say, you're right. But they also shouldn't be absolutely terrible. This one is good. Not game-breaking, not terrible, just middle grade decent most high lifes don't use it i use it just for the fact that it's a fast conveyor i don't use the upgrade boosters and these two mines are just bad i'm also making this video before the new reincarnation update comes out as to provide how they currently stand and my thoughts on ways to improve both of the mines or just make slight adjustments to them and with that, I believe I will conclude my video of the two beautiful mines that are also rare in Miner's Haven. King Gold Mine and Stellarite Mine, you guys certainly are special. And yeah, that's about it. I'm going to continue to grind to 100k and get more item. And I will definitely be playing Reincarnation Update when it comes out. So thank you for watching. And I'll see you soon.